It reads like a who's who of the best in British boxing for 50 years. For many of the men awarded this accolade, it was only the start. But being nominated Boxing Writers Young Boxer of the Year was a first sign of the stardom that would follow, and each of them has given the boxing public special memories. Of course, we should emphasize that we are talking about the Young Boxer of the Year, so in certain cases, we are looking back into the mists of time. <laughs> However, Barry's case was a good one, in fact. He was on the brink of a glittering career, and the same may be true for the man who's the latest recipient of the award. Alex Arthur joins us from Edinburgh to talk about the way forward and his big fight coming up in just a couple of weeks. But first, a glimpse of the class that has made Arthur stand out so far. His latest outing came in the open air at Cardiff recently, supporting the Joe Calzaghe world title defence there. Arthur looking for a 12th straight win against the Belarusian Pavel Potipka. Who says there are no young boxers coming through? Here's one of the hottest prospects you'll see in the white trunks, Alex Arthur from Edinburgh, who might well be voted Young Boxer of the Year. Up against Pavel Patipko from Belarusia, who's only in his fifth fight. He's won all four so far. Arthur's unbeaten as well. He's won 11 fights, nine inside the schedule, four inside the first round, and uh, he could be absolutely anything. It looks like massive advantages here in height and reach over Potipko, about whom very little is known, quite honestly. He's uh, just a novice pro. And Arthur is articulate, likeable, and has a lot of charisma and star quality. He really could become a big name if they get it right with him. Potipko is so outreached, he almost needs to make a phone call, doesn't he, to get to Arthur. Well, that's a big problem for him. Also, judging by his record, he's not a big punch. All four of his victories on points. So that makes it you know, a bit harder for Potipko. He's trying to find the range and the opening. Alex Arthur is in another very hurtful looking body shot. That was the one I think that did the damage. There were a couple after it, but the left hook to the body and Patipko's in trouble. Count seven, eight, nine. I don't think he's going to get up. He's counted out. It's over. In a round. Alex Arthur does it again. He's much, much too good for anybody at this kind of novice pro level now. Yep, the variety, very good. Going through with his shots, but it was that first left hook that really took everything out of him. It just took the time. You know, couldn't get in the air. And you know, the legs just between him there. Here's a good fight down the road. What about uh, Alex Arthur against Kevin Lear, the fellow who's just been Michael Gomez? That would be a good one. It would it? be a very good fight. Small glimpse of the talent that has made Alex Arthur the Boxing Writers Young Boxer of the Year. And Alex joins us from his home in Edinburgh. Alex, many congratulations. You've immersed yourself in the history and traditions of boxing, I know that. What does it mean to you to have picked up this award? Oh, it means the world to me, Adam, you know, I mean, uh, Paul, sorry. It means, I'm not used to speaking to Adam. It means the world to me, you know, it's um, something that uh, that I dreamt about a few years back, you know, watching some of the, the fighters picking up the award and, and to be on the rostrum with, with, with all the champions that I've seen was, was unbelievable. I'm, I'm so happy to have won it. Among them, Barry McGuigan. I hear you sing better than McGuigan, though. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> is it the sort of thing that can take your profile to a new level across Britain? Oh, most definitely. I mean, um, it's as as I said, the award it was it was a a huge win for me. You know, it's just as big as any fight because of the people who who were who were on the list prior to me. So, I think it can make a big difference. Yeah, definitely. Wasn't a distraction all this attention, at, which at a very important time for you with big fights coming up. Was it a uh, distraction to do all this? Um, yeah, it was in a way, you know, I've got a public workout scheduled for today. Everything's just going really, really fast at the minute, but I'm, I've got to concentrate on the most important thing right now, which is my sparring. How are things in the camp? You're working, as we mentioned, with Scott and Peter Harrison, a father-son combination, and you've been very close in your career with Scott so far. How is it all going in the gym? Well, we've, we've actually trained in, in complete isolation to each other. Um, We've never even seen that much each other through this whole camp. Um, we've never sparred together for the last two fights now. Um, and obviously we're bringing in different, different sparring But I know over the years you have worked together an awful lot. Have you fed off each other's career success to date under Peter? Um, well, 
I can't really say that, you know, because um, Scott sort of went his way and I've went mine, you know, it's it's like two dif two, two completely different people and two mm -hmm. completely different careers, mm -hmm. so I can't really say that. How is preparation going for your next British title fight against Willie Lemon? Oh, it's, it's went absolutely perfect so far, you know, um, I've done all my core and conditioning training and now I'm onto my technique and my sparring, so um, in a week's time I'll be, I'll be calming down the training, tapering down and just getting ready for the for the fight. Could this be a tougher fight than some have made it out to be? Yeah, most probably, yeah. Willie Lemon's a, a technically brilliant boxer, he's got great hand speed and um, I'll just have to look for the flaws in his makeup that, uh, that didn't appear to be there at the minute. It's something of a rarity in modern boxing, an all Scottish British title fight. Yeah. The country's ablaze from what I hear. People are talking about it, buying tickets already. Is that true? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going crazy up here. You know, everybody wants to see the fight. I mean, the disappointment of the last time um, with, with Willa Lemon pulling out with his, with his perforated eardrum, I think it's even caused um, a bigger stir this time. And I think the people want to see the fight even more. I think there's going to be um, a mu much more anticipation this time than there was the last even. Thanks for joining us, Alex. Barry, does it sound like preparations are in hand for the Lemon job? Isn't he an impressive young fella? All Isn't round. Fantastic. I mean, he really is doing things right. And uh, he's so adaptable, so impressive, so quick. And uh, he's got such all-round natural ability. This is a very tough fight, no doubt about that, and his toughest opponent to date. But he looks like he's on the ball. But often, Barry, you do look beyond the immediate task, yeah. don't you, for yeah. us? Uh, and you say, yeah. is, the, is the, found work, the foundation work being done right? Do you get the idea? That it is in Without case. doubt, this guy knows what he's doing. I mean, he's a personal friend of mine and we talk. He knows what he's doing. He's organised. He's got a plan. And you know what he talked about this fast arcade where everything's happening so fast? The one thing he can do is to play himself and concentrate. And that's the most, one of the most important ingredients. Are we in danger of getting carried away at the moment with Arthur? Well, we've been saying that for about a year now, that we need him to slow down. But at the same time, we know he's ready for, for fights above the stage he is now. You know, after Limon, there's a couple of fights out there for him. And, and I would hold him back only a little bit. As Barry says, this guy can adapt. I'd keep him going fast. He likes it. He likes mm -hmm. that pace. Yeah. He likes that limelight. And you know what? He's only going to get a better fighter if he fights better I fighters. I take it you voted for him. Well, let me, I hate to say this, but you can, you know, that award's a great award, but let's, we've been ringside, Paul, when there's been no boxing writers there. Now, who the hell are they voting for when they don't turn up for Saturday night fights? Very political. Well. <laughs> Arthur against Lemon, just one of the big fights in our lineup in October. going to be exciting. 